I'm Anastasia Ashley with Esquire Network's All Access Look at Don Q Rum. As a surfer, I spend a lot of time in the water. Don Q isn't dumping any of their waste into the oceans, and that's a model for sustainability. So it was inspiring to see a brand dedicated to being so environmentally responsible. Our family, what we have is a great commitment. We're just trying to always innovate so that we can minimize our impact on the environment. Not just for today, but for generations to come. Catch more of our island adventure at EsquireTV.com slash Don Q. Presented by Don Q, exceptional age Puerto Rican rum. I'm Anastasia Ashley with Esquire Network's All Access Look at Don Q Rum. After a long day of epic island sets in Puerto Rico, it was time for some incredible island rum. The original daiquiri is a very simple drink. Sugar, fresh lime, and the Don Q on you. Best daiquiri I've ever had. Eat some street side seafood paired with Don Q single barrel rum. We're gonna give these a nice squeeze of lime. It was an amazing tropical feast. Oh, these are incredible. Catch more of our island adventure at EsquireTV.com slash Don Q. Presented by Don Q, exceptional age Puerto Rican rum. A gentleman knows that art is everywhere. You just need to know where to look. Esquire Network presents The Art of Gentleman Jack. People think that Jack Daniels is some fictitious character, but he was a real guy. Uh, he was born in September of 1850. He had an opportunity to purchase the stilling equipment. He brought it to where it sits today, the cave spring here in Lynchburg, Tennessee. Every drop of Jack Daniels is made using that water. When you look at the Gentleman Jack label and you see that word rare, the word rare means that it's charcoal mellowed twice second time after it's already matured in the barrel. And it's that second charcoal melling that it really gives Gentleman Jack its unique sweet flavor. It's more refined, lighter on the palate. It's definitely not something that you should hurry through. Taking the time to share your favorite whiskey with a friend of yours is sort of a bonding experience. Enjoy the whiskey one sip at a time. For more time with Gentleman Jack, visit EsquireTV.com slash art of. I'm Daniel K. Nelson with Esquire Network's How I Rock It. Crafting a Grey Goose Martini is about more than just making a cocktail. It's about style and sophistication. When you're using the best vodka, you want to keep it chill. Contrary to what you've heard, always stir your martini. Never shake. Shaking dilutes the flavor. The Grey Goose Martini. Cheers.